What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. I've been making Valheim challenge videos for a while now and usually the way I do things is I live stream the entire process of doing the challenge and then edit the footage after the fact to make the actual challenge video. This means that in the description I get to link to the VODs of the live stream for anybody that wants to see the entire challenge process from start to finish. However, many people have requested a new type of video from me where they still get to see the entire Higher challenge process as a series of videos but basically with all of the boring bits cut out so with today's video i'd like to introduce a new type of video to the channel this is officially episode one of my first ever challenge run series for this challenge the idea is to do a normal playthrough of the game but when it comes to boss fights summon two of each boss simultaneously effectively making each boss fight twice as hard in a way that's no doubt going to add a lot of complications so this video is episode one of a series of videos that's going to be consistently released until all of the bosses are defeated and then as sort of a grand finale i will release a new video in the style of my previous challenge videos using all of the footage gathered throughout the series as sort of a highlights slash grand finale so i hope you're excited for this series hopefully you enjoy this video and without further ado let's jump into it okay here we go jumping in to a brand new world to start the challenge for the first time. So it's kind of an epic moment watching this intro when we start a new challenge run. So I feel like this might be worth mentioning at this point. I'm going to try it and play with basically the game on max settings except for turning off like bloom and motion blur and stuff. Which is something I don't normally do, but uh you know, I do sometimes do it when I make videos, so let's see if I can enjoy these max settings for this video series. Right, here we go. We're in our brand new world. I'll tell you what, the first thing I'm going to do is... Turn off Hugin. Okay, let's find out where Ikthir is first. All right, that's nice and close, good. The first thing I actually want to do um, is actually just gather a huge amount of wood. The key to this challenge is going to be massive over preparation, basically. Or at least that's my, my current work in theory. So, I think if we're going to be doing lots of preparation for each boss fight, then uh, it makes sense to actually build quite a decent sized base because we are going to need a lot of storage and a lot of resources and a lot of materials because this run is essentially just a normal survival run that we can approach as casually as we want um, for the purpose of this video series I'm going to be kind of approaching it like a let's play but the boss fights are obviously where the challenge is in this challenge run so it is a challenge run but it doesn't mean that we can't have fun in the meantime so anyway what I'm going to do is um I'm going to create a small temporary structure just to get things started as a place to start storing mats and set a spawn and stuff. And then I'm just going to spend ages farming a ton of wood. And, uh, you know, probably upgrade my basic tools a little bit, maybe to some flint stuff. Uh, or max level stone axe or something. And so, yeah. When it comes to this farming a ton of wood, I'll probably just fast forward so you guys don't have to watch me chop down trees for hours. <laughs> or make some kind of action montage of farming wood. Let's see what I decide to do in the edit. So that's going to be the plan. For a while at least. I've actually just found this little structure that's 
right next to the stone circle at the start of the game. So uh, I think this is actually going to be a perfect spot for our temporary structure um, to use as our base of operations before we uh, farm a bunch of wood and uh, start building our initial base. This actually seems kind of backwards to how I would want it. So I'm, I'm going to rebuild it a little bit. <laughs> All right. So let's just truck a bed in back here. Set a spawn point. Might as well put the workbench inside. So it actually is a usable workbench as well. This is still too exposed amazingly. Maybe we just repair this workbench. Sorry, maybe we just repair this roof. Oh my God. I actually feel so claustrophobic in here. So because we're not doing a speed run and uh, it's not necessarily some crazy challenge, I'm going to try, um, or at least I like the idea of trying to keep vegetation turned on. Cause it does look really cool. Let's see how long I'll last with that because I feel like I'm already struggling to find rocks, <laughs> but I'll keep it on as long as it feels fun. If it gets annoying, we can just turn vegetation off again. I'm actually just making a hoe. Because with vegetation on it, it's actually kind of annoying me that uh, the grass is clipping through this little shack. Okay, I just gathered some rocks um, so we can have a fire next to our little shack. And uh, yeah, this is going to be our home base of operations. I'm now going to upgrade my axe. And uh, yeah, probably just fast forward through a bunch of wood cutting. And hopefully next time you see this spot, it's going to be just filled with stacks and stacks of wood. So still not finished collecting all the wood. But I'm also just going to start stacking up chests and just filling them with random stuff. We will have to sort this out when we actually build our base. But uh, for now... It's going to be dumping everything in here. Okay, so I've made some rag pants. And this especially stylish flower crown. Or the midsummer crown as it's called. And uh, I've also got level 2 flint axe. Level 2 hoe. Level 2 hammer. And I've cooked a load of meat. And I've cleared this area. That I've started to stack with mats. So now I think I'm officially ready to just go nuts chopping down trees and fill this area with wood stacks. And then we're going to pick a spot, start building our base, which is where we're going to hoard all the mats for the boss preparation for the entire challenge. So let's get stuck in chopping trees down. Okay, so here it is. Right here, we've got 350 wood. So hopefully that's going to be enough to build a decent little house. And look what's right next to this little shack. Some of these awesome stone circles. So I think this is going to be the perfect spot to build our base. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do next. All right, so let's get started building uh, our first building for our base in this stone circle. I think I'm just going to start out by leveling the ground around here just to remove all the grass and stuff just so we don't have it clipping through the floor. And uh, also to get a little bit of an idea of some sort of floor plan. I'm not sure if what I want to do is build like a square or even a circle just in the middle of these things. Or if I want to build a building where we just connect all of the big stones. Or whether we just connect some of them. I kind of want to just make it so there's just a wall in between each thing. And actually use the rocks as supports. But the problem with that is it's going to be hard to get everything to line up. When it comes to putting a roof on it. But it won't be impossible. Like we could just do that. And then just figure it out after the fact. 
Or we could just build like a simpler shape in between it. That'll be easier. But no, I can't decide what to do. Maybe we actually just start out with the floor. And we actually try and make like a proper floor plan. Because that will give us an idea of what exactly we want to do. So first things first, let's do this, this, right? That covers everywhere. Now I guess what I'm going to do is just start plonking tiles down. Yeah, this looks good. It will actually work better if it clips in to the stone a little bit because it's going to act as some support. I should probably explain my strategy uh, for fighting two fears at the same time uh, as we do this. Basically, what I plan on doing is just uh, basically getting the best possible spear we can get, whatever level that is. It'll be a flint spear. You know, the best bow we can get, level that up as much as possible. And um, as many fire arrows or flint arrows and flint arrows, probably both. It's as many arrows as possible, basically. And, uh, you know, we'll be going for the best armor we can get as well. That's going to be the plan, essentially. All right, so we're already starting to see that we probably can just have a big enough square um, to just keep it simple with a square roof. Which is what I would rather do, because whilst roofs can get really, really cool looking in Valheim, it is, uh, you know, roofs can also be annoying. And I like to do flat square roofs for the most part, just keep build simple. So yeah. It's looking like we will be able to do that, which is good. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this floor plan and make it a complete square. And in the video, we're just going to cut straight to that moment, like magic with the magic of editing. And then from there, we're probably going to have some kind of gathering montage to gather more wood. And then we start working on the uh, walls and the roof. All right, there we go. Got a nice big square floor plan. So now we know we can have a square shaped roof. It's not a perfect square. It's not the same, same length each way, I don't think. It's still going to be a little bit of a rectangle. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want uneven edges um, to, to make the roof easier. But also, I still wanted it to go through the edges these rocks a little bit to provide a bit of extra support and also just have something that looks kind of cool. All right. So now we probably need a epic wood gathering montage because we only have a little bit of wood left over uh, after this giant, giant floor plan. We're going to need probably over a thousand wood to actually <laughs> finish the structure we don't have to do it all at once but anyway let's do another uh another wood farming montage i reckon <laughs>
By the way, this is the way I like to do roofs in this game. This really comes from uh, some old speedrun strats uh, from Modder. Where we used to build a little shack. I uh, ended up experimenting with like different ways of doing quick roofs that are like completely sealed. Because you used to uh, always be paranoid about her being able to see you. But anyway, I sort of create the illusion of a completely flat square roof from the outside. By just using 26 degree thatch roofs on the inside. And just alternate like this. And one of the reasons I like to do this. Is that it's actually really, really easy. And... Um, Not, not not just easy to physically do, but when it comes to the structural integrity, it kind of always gets harder to build things the higher they get up. So this might not be the prettiest thing, but I actually find it really practical to do roofs this way. All right, we're getting there, but going to need a lot more wood. We're out again. So let's get a few hundred more wood and see if we can't finish this roof. All right. I'm going to use some of these X pieces in the middle for a little extra support. And uh, we should be able to get this roof done. Hell yeah. I actually really like the way these X pieces look. I changed to the uh, 45 degree one. Just because it's a bit easier to work with. But this actually looks really cool. Let's actually uh, try and finish off this roof now with these supports. All right, a little bit more wood. And uh, yeah, I should uh, at least have the outer part of this building finished and we can start stocking up on some mats. All right, I've got the roof on now and I've just put a little bit of lighting in. So uh, I'm just going to carve out a fireplace and put a bit of a chimney up. And uh, we're probably going to be done for now. All right, we're done. So this is what it looks like from the outside. It's a giant big square block. You can see we've got a little bit of a chimney going there. That's actually my preferred way to do a chimney as well. A few doors that are lit up. And yeah, we've got these cool rocks as features. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good starting point for the base. And plenty of room tons of storage chests and stuff in here which is the main thing that i wanted a large base for because most likely we're going to be doing a lot of boss prep in this run but anyway i'll probably do a bird's eye view to give you a good angle on the base see what you think so i think that's just about going to do it for the first episode Hope you like the premise of this series and I hope you're excited to see how this challenge run goes. I think we made some good progress in this episode and it's nice to have a cool base to store all the mats we're going to need for the challenge. So in episode two, we're going to be starting our Ikthia boss prep. All right, guys, that's just about going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a nice positive comment and subscribe for future content. If you want to support the content financially, then you can do so on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nick I'll leave a link in the description to that. I do stream on this YouTube channel Channel and also live on Twitch as well at the same time. So I'll leave a link in the description to my Twitch channel if you're interested in that. You can join my Discord at the invite below. And until next time, have a good one.